This Bigfoot sighting comes out of Ottawa County, Alabama, and it contains sightings from December of 2012 and a sighting from January 27th of 2013. With both sightings coming from the same witness, the witness says that his first sighting happened in December of 2012, that it was around midnight, as the witness was heading home, saying that it was raining but not too hard, just steady, that he was driving down the highway through the countryside, and that they were guardrails on both sides of the road while saying that they were woody swamp areas on either side of the road, stating that his headlights lit up all of the reflectors on the rails going down a good distance. Now the witness said that about halfway down the guardrail that there was a dark spot, like there was a gap in the rails. Now, when the witness got closer, he said that he could see that it was some kind of animal, that this creature looked to be large and hairy. But this creature got over the guardrail and was gone back into the swampy woods before the witness said he could get a close enough look to see more. So he said he just put it to the back of his mind, at least until a week or two ago, when the witness said he was leaving for work, saying that it was about 8.30 in the morning and that again there was a light rain that morning as well, that he pulled out onto the same highway that he had his first sighting on. He says that as soon as he pulled out onto the highway, he saw something weird and strange that was about two to 300 yards down the highway. It was on the side of the road. Something wasn't right with what the witness was seeing, he says. As he says, this creature walked onto the highway in front of him. That it wasn't in any hurry that it just walked across and stepped over the same guardrail as in his last sighting. He says the creature stepped over the guardrail with ease. He said he watched it as it walked down the ditch and back into the woods. That where this thing walked out, that it was pretty clear and that he got a really good look at it, even though it was still at a good distance, saying that this creature had short legs compared to its upper body, while its head stuck out from its shoulders. Now, the witness says that the creature's arms were very long, that they hung down almost to its knees, that the creature had hands as well, and that it was all black in color. At first sight, the witness said that he thought that it was a man, but as he got closer, he realized that this thing wasn't a man at all, just by how much bigger this thing looked as he got closer to it. The witness says that whatever this thing was, that he had never seen anything like it before. The witness said that he hunts all the time in these woods, that he would say that it wasn't a bear or any human he had ever seen, that this thing was big and that it gave you a chill just seeing it. Now, in the follow-up investigation, the investigator said that he is very familiar with the area where the sighting happened, having hiked in the area many times before. That it is a fact that it is very rural and forested, while having an abundance of wildlife, and that there are many water sources as well saying that the witness was very familiar with the area and the local wildlife, saying that confusing what he saw with another animal was just out of the question. The witness also said to the follow-up investigator that this creature was human-like, but that it had its own different attributes as well. While they measured the guardrails, they were around three foot high, 
and that a normal man would have a hard time just stepping over them, especially the way this creature did. So what did you think about this sighting report? Drop me a comment down below and let me know. This Bigfoot sighting comes out of Gray Harbor County, Washington from April the 5th of 2008. The witness says that her and her boyfriend was with one of their friends who was driving an old F-150 pickup truck. They were driving up an old logging road that her boyfriend and their friend was going to teach her how to shoot a shotgun a little bit better, saying that they had made it back to a very desolate area with very thick forest. Well, they were lost, but knew that this road came out near Capitol Forest. Now, as it was starting to get late, and all three of them was ready to go home, well, they ended up getting turned around somewhere, which I took as them still being lost at this time. When they found themselves going around a corner with a hill running down on the left-hand side, saying that it had lots of pine trees with low-lying brush. Now, the witness says that everything kind of runs together at this point, but that she would try to get everything out without the cursing that was involved. The witness says that she was sitting in the middle in the truck when she saw a flash of very large eyes in the headlights. Now, at this time, she said, holy shit, look at that and a few other keywords that I won't really go into right now. Her friend stopped the truck and got out to get a better look at this creature. Now her boyfriend had no idea what was going on at the time. For he hadn't seen this creature. The witness says at this time that the two boys that she was with has done a lot of hunting. They are very familiar with the animal's reactions and their size and eye shapes. The witness says that she was frozen with fear that she was just sitting there in the truck. She says she thinks about five minutes went by, or at least it felt that long to her, with her boyfriend being out of the truck now, while the witness was still frozen in fear. The witness says she felt like time had truly stopped. She was staring at the largest greenish eyes she has ever seen, with her friend being so shaken up that he couldn't even get a shell into the shotgun, or even hold it for that matter. Now her boyfriend told her that all of a sudden she started screaming and shrieking. The witness seems to think that this was the time that she snapped out of the trance or fright that she was in when she saw this creature's outline. The witness said that the most thing that sticks out to her besides this creature's eyes were its massive forearms that it was propping itself up with. While the witness couldn't tell what color the creature was, she said that this creature was at least 700 to 750 pounds while she was still screaming and crying now. Now saying at this time that both the boys had jumped back into the truck. Her boyfriend was still asking, what did we see? When all of a sudden, the witness's nose started gushing blood. But this being the first time in many years of her getting a nosebleed, she thinks that it was the absolute terror of the moment. That she was just terrified of this creature that she was seeing. While this creature didn't move the whole time their headlights was on yet, her friend started to drive off. This is when they noticed that the creature had took off running up the hillside. Now the witness says the hour ride back home was very weird, with her and her friend not wanting to talk about what they had seen. All that her friend would say to her boyfriend was that whatever he saw was huge. The eyes were huge. Now they all wanted to get out of the woods and get home. Now the witness says that she grew up hiking and camping in the woods. 
but that she has never seen or experienced a pure terrified moment. That whatever this creature was, that she never has seen anything this strange, shocking or terrifying, all at the same time. Now she did say that the next day their friend came back over. He told them that he had also had nosebleeds all night, while also having some terrifying dreams as well. He said that he hadn't had nosebleeds in years also. Okay, so what's with the nosebleeds? Could it have been the fear of seeing this creature causing them? Well, I guess it could have pushed their blood pressure through the roof, I guess. That's the only thing that I can think of for that. What about you? Can you think of a reason for the nosebleeds? If so, please drop a comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button so you can keep up with all of our latest videos. And thanks for watching those endless mysteries.